<laughs> hey everybody, and welcome back to another version of My Car's Broken Because It's Lowered. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey everybody, welcome back again. I'm underneath my car and sun's broken as usual because as we all know lowered cars are cool until they smash into things like curbs and sidewalks and humans and dogs and you know low hanging bits of things that purposely smash into your bottom of your car um yeah well i broke an oil pan um i thought a skid plate was gonna help and uh it did but unfortunately it didn't help enough so uh uh, sorry about the weather as you can kind of see it looks like uh, it's about to end out here So I'm gonna try to make this kind of fast Unfortunately, I don't know what the weather's gonna do so I'm gonna do kind of a quick tutorial on pulling this pan off and putting it back on um, I just don't know what the weather's gonna do so um, but, uh, I guess let's get started and um, Show you guys kind of the ins and outs how to take this thing off and uh, put it back on Okay, we are back. Um, God, this weather's terrible. Um, basically, so I slammed into something pretty hard. I think it was a, coming into Walmart. I must have went over a curb a little too fast. They're, in Utah, they got these big divot things in front of their drives. In front of, like, when you pull off of a highway, I don't know if it's for water or for what it is, but uh, I slammed into it, and the skid plate protected it, but unfortunately, I'll show you guys here. Um, right here, it's kind of hard to see, but there it's draining. That's where the bolt's out, don't worry about that. Right here, and in the back, it cracked it and put about a thumbnail sized divot right here. And I thought about trying to weld it, but um, um, I kind of thought against that, considering that the thing is pretty old and the casting is pretty original and looks, frankly, looks a little rough. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna replace it and uh, which I have with a new one and which is really weird because if anybody can tell me this, please do. Um, the uh, original has this cover right here, which you can take this off. Now what doesn't make sense is why they put this here because the V6s don't have their low level oil sensors here like in the 1.8 turbos they're in a different spot unless I'm missing something and if anybody knows more about this PM me or message me or leave a question in the comments and let me know because this is very very odd um, in the replacement I have right here you can see that there's just these little divots and this section and uh, on the back side nothing just that um, and so not really entirely sure why that's there uh, but if anybody knows, you could uh, give me a heads up and let me know. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, but anyway, uh, this pan right here is coming off. And uh, I'm going to get everything starting to get everything loosened up here. And uh, then I can give you guys kind of idea of what to do. And I will be using, also I will be using a black RTV sealant for this since they don't give you a gasket. And if they do, I didn't get it. So, um... I'm going to get that started and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of where everything is and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Hey everybody, we are back. Um, sorry that took a minute. Uh, it always takes time when, you know, the weather's a pain and but this really wasn't as bad as the, uh, sorry about that, I got just that, there you go. Uh, this isn't as bad as the 1.8s where you have to t take, uh, you got bolts up by the, the bell housing and you practically had to pull it over the cross arm, the cross arm that goes across underneath is from side to side and you gotta yank it over that and disconnect the engine and the transmission, inject the engine up. This is by far the easiest pan I've taken off. Um, uh, 
I'll show you guys here kind of an idea of what I'm looking at. Um, basically, right up here in this area, where's the pan? And um, it's your oil pump. Right here. It's your oil pump right here. Collection, your uh, si uh, your metal mesh is inside here. Um, you got your chain tensioner, which is up in here. Um, but this is kind of the general area, and you've got all your bolts. You got one here. Uh, you got about mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. You got about 12, 15 bolts that go here all the way around, all the way up to the top, and then back down. Very easy to get to. The only thing I had to do was disconnect the sway bar, and it just drops out of the way. Two bolts, both sides, easy, and it drops out of the way. Super simple. Um, and uh, but yeah, there's your oil pump. If you ever need to change it, it's here. That'll be another day. I don't know when I'll ever do this. And I maybe I'll just do it for the heck of it. Um, but yeah, make sure you always take and you want to clean all this gunk off of here. Make sure you have a good clean service. Um, and um, I'm going to show you guys here uh, what we're going to be using to do the pan and uh, do a little comparison on um, uh, how the pans look um, that. how the pans look and how they compare because I, I honestly thought they'd be better but uh, the one that's on here actually was a lot worse than I thought so uh, um, let's check that out okay so we pulled these pans off and we're going to be looking at these two real quick here um, to kind of give you a side-by-side. -side. Now, the one pan is an OEM. The other pan is an actual one from just Napa. Um, and so I'm going to be kind of showing you what 160,000 miles on this pan looks like compared to the new one. Um, because it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty big difference. Um, is there something on the lens there? Ah, ah, I thought it was a little dirty. Um, compared on the the two um, so look down here this is our new pan um, <clears throat> pretty uh, decently for the most part really the only difference is that this is capped and this has a cap and so I'm not entirely sure why that has one and this one doesn't um, I, I probably looked that up in my Haynes manual to see I don't really know why um, the old one came with a gasket now this gasket I cleaned off is in actually not too bad a condition there's a little wear around the edges, um, but I'm going to reuse this, and I'm just going to use RTV sealant, black RTV sealant, and I'm just going to seal this whole thing and reuse it, just for the sake that they didn't give me one, and I don't really feel like going to buy one, so. I'm a broke college student for crying out loud, I don't have any money. <laughs> um, the other pan basically, and sorry about that, I've been having a nasty cold for like a week now, and it's terrible. Um, this the other pan here basically um, kind of I'm not sure if you guys can see or not but down here I got oil in there it might be kind of hard to see but even back here there's cracks all along inside here on this bend and I'm not sure if this was work hardened or what but there's cracks all in here here and here there's a lot of spider cracks all along these edges all inside the pan all the way down in here um, if I drain this kind of down this way you can kind of see the serial number there <coughs> the serial number and deep and right in there you can see there's a lot of deep cracks um, even down here towards if you wipe that oil away a little bit you can kind of see there's cracks even by where the bolt is which is not good so there's cracks all through here now whether or not these are gonna these were what came out of casting or whatnot it's kind of hard to say um, but if we take and we flip this thing over real quick here you can see that this is the underneath there's the German uh, all OEM plate but you can tell it's it's pretty rough um, it's been on there a while and a lot of these cracks have been there either gonna get worse or what I'm not sure but yeah there's a lot of oil dripping out right there but as you can tell um, if you look right this spot right here 
is cracked and I think this is where I hit and this is where the divot is right there and you can tell it's the size of my fingernail it's not even big but this whole thing is cracked and the surface as well is pretty rough and so compared to that one to this one I think we're gonna go with this one um, so we're gonna get started putting this guy back on and uh, uh, I'll uh, see you in a few
Well, we're back. Uh, that went good. And uh, everything looks good. Um, everything under the car looks to be in order. I had a few issues with the screws, but I had to kind of adjust the pan. Um, sway bar went back on, as you can tell. And all we have to do now is put the uh, sway bar on. And this weekend, we're going to be putting, hopefully, we're going to be putting new rubber on those RS4 rims. And uh, we're going to be putting those on the Audi. So, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And um, next time, I'm going to be doing a, well, something exciting. Tune in. See you later.